Apologies in advance for all the swearing in this video, however, fuck me, I challenge you to try that and not drop an F-bomb or two. So less than 24 hours to go, obviously me being the massive control freak that I am, um, I've written down all my timings, where I'm going to go, what I'm going to eat after it. Um, I have also prepared some food because if not, I've got the feeling that I just won't be arsed to eat. So I'm going to have falafel, I've got two pastas, some melon, I've got some gummy sweeties, I've got some protein bars, I've got thin bagels, I've made some flapjacks, BCAA, Lucozade, give me hydrated. So yeah, got a big juicy fucking moon steak for after as well. It's been a while. Just laid out all my clothes for the run. Fucking hell, when you put that into perspective, that's quite a lot of runs. Um, but at least I'm not gonna waste any time picking what I'm gonna be wearing. <laughs> if I've decided to do something a bit mad where obviously 48 miles is amazing but if I added an extra 4.4 miles on then that'll take it to two marathons in 48 hours I'm thinking I want a bit of it it's fucking warm but run one let's go this hill is bigger than it looks I swear because that must come down Number two, feeling good. So my alarm is going off in two and a half hours. I've stretched, I've drunk a shitload of water and I'll see you in a couple of hours for round three. Just about to get out for the first midnight run. And all I gotta say is, it's not the dog in the fight, it's the fight in the dog. Feeling a little bit stiff, a little bit dazed, a little bit confused, but I'm ready for another one. Twenty-five percent of the way, and um, that one felt hard. But I think I've obviously burned over like a thousand calories since I last ate. So I'm really shaky, like chocolate protein and banana. Then I'm gonna get back to sleep. One issue that I'm finding is obviously I'm trying to get in loads of fluids before I go to sleep between the runs. But my tiny little pee bladder woke me up twice to go to the toilet between one and half three, like, well annoying. Usually when I'm running at this time, I'm running from the book to find an after party. This is a bit different. Fuck. Oh. This gorgeous man getting me through. Mm. Morning. Um, so it's like quarter to seven. Um, of that sleep just was really non-existent. Um, I thought I'd be starving, but I'm not. But I'm still gonna just get something to eat. I'm gonna dry this sweat into my hair because it's making me cold. Rara fashion, baby. Oh no, I've peed myself. This one's not feeling too bad. I've iced, I've stretched. How are we doing? This will be halfway. Windy. Yes, what a sight.
This one was a real struggle for me, probably the um, hardest. Yeah. I've not got the same views guys. Um, I hadn't slept. Yes, since like eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I'm really tired. I'm really sore. But I'm not arsed about the time. I'm arsed about finishing it. Thirty-one point two. Still smiling. Quarter to seven. I've just woke up from the best coziest nap ever. Um, I knew this was going to be hard, but I think this is really where um, I'm going to get put to the test. But I'm just going to get a wee snack and then we go again in just over an hour. This is the dog shite. I think I'm going to be delirious. <laughs> My legs have turned to proper jelly. Um, I just about started crying when I realised that we've got less than 20 miles left. Uh, sometimes I'm like we're running so shit I may as well be going bloody backwards. My legs feel like they weigh about 100 kilos each. This is going to be hard. The next 16 miles will be sponsored by Crispy Rolls and Squashies. 100 blasters, nearly gone. Fucking hell. Going to get started on this one a bit early just because we are ready and um, why the fuck not? Brilliant words of encouragement. Sasha, you look fucked. Oh well, yeah. Three quarters done. <laughs> Only twelve point six. Teeny wee miles to go. Also, these are absolutely banging. I've not actually had a proper meal since like three o'clock yesterday, but. I'm not hungry, what's it? Mental. Oh honey, ain't no amount of amino acid getting you out of this pain. Definitely just a whole lot of wine now. Hardly even raining. I'm a lucky bitch. Health and safety hazard. I break my ankle before I finish. My energy feels really low. But um, I'm absolutely starved now, which is a good sign, so I'm going to get a proper feeding for the next one. Yes, I'm purposely standing in puddles now, just to stop the burn. Just over 8 miles to go until I hit the 52.44 mark. Cannot even begin to explain how this feels, but I'll start with dehydrated starving and battered but I was never going to give up Yum, phallic Two more to go I think what I definitely wasn't prepared for is that obviously the aching in my legs is just about on Bloody hell, broken woman or what? But the aching is like spread up my back, spread up to my arms, like my whole body is in bits. But you don't need your arms to run, so can't complain, can you? Just got to think what would Rob will do. Power on, never give up. Tunnel vision. I was not expecting mile 45 to be a nine minute or I think adrenaline, adrenaline, whatever you want to call it, must be kicking in. I don't know if it's adrenaline or the crispy roll that I had before I went for that run, but I just found my fastest pace in like over 24 hours. Four miles left. Get that bad boy in the fridge. 
There's about six runs worth of sweat pleated into that. Last night, bitches! I don't know what is happening here, but somehow mile 49 is going to be the fastest one yet. Don't make sense. 50 miles and a half done. And this is how I know I need to get to sleep because I feel like I probably could have another one in me. Defo got a bit cocky there saying I could bash out another run but um, hi I'm going to round up to 53 miles and that is dedicated to my mum and my dad work it out I can't even describe the feeling like when I got finished. It was almost like a bit surreal. I was like kind of thinking like I've still got one, like I've still got more to do because I just got into the habit of getting up and doing a run every few hours. Um, I just feel like I've proven so much to myself like I can do anything that I put my mind to and like I quite get enjoyment out of putting my body through hell. Um, so yeah, I'm proud of myself which is a nice feeling. All the information Beautiful. I was saying at the Finally in bed. I've just realised I've not turned my alarm off, so that was been going off at God knows what time. As I was saying, finally in bed with no alarm to go off in two hours or whatever. Got my electric blankie on, got my hot water bottle on had a nice pizza, I've tried to drink loads of water, still feeling a bit dehydrated. 53 miles, 6,000 calories, 100,000 steps. What's fucking next? So it's been 24 hours now since I finished. Um, I slept amazing last night. My legs are really, really sore today um, and I'm aching but not as bad as I expected, which is good. Still feeling a bit dehydrated, um, but I've got my hunger back today. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping to train tomorrow, which will be good. Obviously, I'm going to try and avoid legs. Um, but yeah, all in all, feeling good, feeling positive and glad that I've done it. So for, in terms of advice, I would say that sleep every single night one, even like after the 4am one, sleep. Cause my hardest run was when was four o'clock p.m. when I hadn't slept since before the four a.m. one. Eat even if you're not hungry. Um, cause I stupidly didn't eat for about three runs, like a proper meal or anything apart from like sweets. Prepare, you know, buy loads of little snacks. Um, cook up some pasta or whatever before. Yeah, and obviously stretch after every single run. Um, have your clothes that you're going to wear laid out and everything ready. Make sure you've got loads of plasters. Um, wear comfy shoes. Maybe like I switched between three pairs of trainers, which I think helped because in one of the runs, my white trainers had like blood soaked through them, which was grim. Um, and just enjoy it. Don't worry about the time. Um. Obviously, be aware that it is going to be really difficult, but you're going to feel amazing after you've done it. And then a massive thing that helped me was like having everyone behind me, everyone that came and did a run, that either walked or cycled beside me, um, all the little messages, every, anyone that sent me anything, and of course, all the donations. So obviously just a massive thanks to everyone who's donated and everyone who's got behind me in this and anyone that called me crazy it is what it is um and if anyone's got any suggestions of the next kind of challenge thing that i could be doing then comment below final little point i wanted to make was that um just to say i am not a runner at all i don't think i'd ever run really more than like 6k before i did this 
Um, I, the most kind of training that I did was I did two days where I tried three runs in a day, three, four miles, and then I was running kind of like four times a week for about a month before. Um, and the final tip that I wanted to give was to fully prep your route so you know exactly where you're going and exactly how long they're going to be. As of half 12 on Sunday, I've got a grand worth of donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you.